we're going to take a moment to talk about the unit circle. Now, the unit circle is a circle of radius 1 centered at the origin. Now, also when I say the unit circle, a lot of students bring to mind this diagram that has a whole bunch of numbers here. And we also have a version of this that's in radians that we'll look at in a moment. Now, I don't want you to memorize this. I don't want you to brute force memorize all these values because that's not actually the way we like to use the unit circle. That's the way that you just sort of do it to get through some tests and then forget it later. What's better to do is actually think about this and understand the relationships between the different parts of the circle. Now, the unit circle diagram has special angles listed on it. These angles are the common values that we use, and we're going to evaluate functions known as the sine and cosine functions on it later. But right now, we're just going to focus on these angles. And rather than thinking about all these angles, we just want to focus on these two right here, the 30 degree angle and the 45 degree angle. Because using these two angles, we can actually generate the rest of this diagram. So let's look at this. So 30 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're just going to march away around the, around the circle in units of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees, the next one 60 degrees, 90, 120, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330. The 30 degree angle is one third of a right angle. So one third of 90 is 30 degrees. And so if you just take that 30 degrees and march it all the way around the unit circle, that will get you the majority of these values. And you can do the same thing with the 45 degree angle. The 45 degree angle is half of a 90 degree angle. So 45, 90, and just add multiples of 45 going around here. So 135, 180, 225, 270, 315, and 360. And so this gets you the entire way around the circle using the 45 degree increments. And that will get you the rest of the values on this chart. So again, rather than memorizing this whole thing, just focus on the angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees. And then as you march your way around the circle, you can fill out the rest of these values. Here's the exact same unit circle picture except with the angles measured in radians. Now again, we're going to focus on these two right here. So pi over 6 is the same as 30 degrees, and pi over 4 is the same as 45 degrees. And all we need to do is follow the exact same process, but now we also have to think in fractions. So pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, and then 2 over 6 reduces to 1 third. 3 pi over 6, 3 over 6 is 1 half. 4 pi over 6, 4 over 6 reduces to 2 thirds, 5 pi over 6, 6 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, 8 pi over 6, 9 pi over 6, 10 pi over 6, 11 pi over 6. And so if you just go by multiples of pi over 6 all the way around the circle, remembering to stop three times around each quadrant, you're going to get all of these values. And that's way easier than trying to memorize these. And all you would need to do with the pi over 6 is just reduce at every step if you can. Same thing will happen with the pi over 4. So pi over 4 is halfway to a 90 degree angle. So pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. And so again, brute force memorization is not the way to go. If you just think about the patterns and think logically through this picture, you should be able to get all of these values. So here's an example that we've seen before. Find an angle coterminal with 19 pi over 4 on the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Now, what's different in this approach is instead of last time where we just subtract 2 pi's until we get into this interval, we're actually going to think about this geometrically using the unit circle. So we'll sketch the unit circle here. And this will work whenever this denominator is a 2, 3, 4, or 6, because those will be the denominators that we'll be working with in the unit circle diagram. And so, since there's a foreign denominator, we're going to look at the angle pi over 4, which is the same as 45 degrees. And what we're going to do is we're just going to work our way around the unit circle, just like when we were filling in the values, except we're just going to keep on going until we get to 19 pi over 4. So here's 1 pi over 4. This is going to be 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 6 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, and this would be 8 pi over 4. I'm not going to keep on writing, I'm just going to keep counting. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And so this, using this diagram this way, 
is a little bit easier conceptually to think about rather than just this calculation using these pies that you may not have that much uh, intuition with yet and dealing with fractions. All we need to do is just count out on the diagram because this is one of our useful values that we see on the unit circle diagram. So remember the denominators of 2, 3, 4, and 6, and I guess also integer multiples of pi, although those are much simpler. Uh, we can use a unit circle diagram and just think about it and work our way around the diagram to get an angle.